Hello, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we did a side quest. I did that side quest forever ago. And yet I only uploaded it like... Wait, so I didn't upload last week so I'd be like, what, two weeks ago? And I'm back again? <laughs> Yay? Anyway. Uh, so this time we're gonna be doing a side quest. So this, uh, Blade I believe is voice acted by Pajroka. And with any Blade voice by Petroka's voice actor, uh, the Blade's voice acting is better than Petroka's. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. My name is Harold. I pray you can contain my power. I see her name and immediately think of a character from Captain Underpants. Anyway, uh, let's go. And I do the side quest, yes. Uh, there might be, it might be locked behind, well not locked behind, but it might be like a, might be like a side quest from a, the character you received the side quest from that uh, inhibits us from doing the side quest. So basically like a side quest stacked on top of a side quest. Like I like what happened with the freaking uh, one thing in like a uh, Perun side quest where the, uh, Freaking billboard that we had to get Perun side quest from. It had a different side quest on it, so we had to accept that one. And then, uh, then we had to accept Perun's afterwards. So, we get this a side quest from none other than uh, King Eulogimidos. Yay! Uh, I'm just letting you like to ask Rex. May I talk with him for a moment? Yeah, I think it's actually straight up blocking uh, the uh, side quest behind another side quest that you have to accept first. So, okay. I guess you have to play as Rex. Cool. I have something, uh... I have something of special uh, request to ask. Uh, in particular of you, Rex. I can't read today. Huh, you're asking me, not Zeke? Uh, correct. You are the Aegis's driver, first and foremost. Uh, but you are also a salvager, are you not? Oh uh, yeah, until a little while ago, that's how I made my living. It so happens that I used to dabble in the salvaging business though myself back in the day. Are oh, you were a salvager, your majesty? Yeah, this is a, in no way relevant to the blade quest we're doing. Uh, this actually might be a side quest we do later, even though it's not a blade quest, because it does actually change some stuff on the map. And I just want to show off the, that because it's a little bit cool. Anyway, uh, I've had enough of the uh, interminable uh, drudgery of the nobility. I decided it was... A time to discover the real world. Uh, so I can't exactly fault Zeke for his own actions, haha. <laughs> Finally, you grew your brain. Uh, I'd start salvaging on a whim, yet before I knew it, uh, I was desperate to get my hands on treasures of legend. Cool, I'd never have guessed. Uh, so did you find any legendary treasure? I'm afraid not, but I did manage to pinpoint the location of some. Uh, we were working on designing on designs for a machine, we could use to winch it up. But the Senate passage passing my father brought an end to all that. Uh, since then, I haven't had the time for treasure hunting, let alone salvaging. Oh, uh, um, so why are you telling me all this? Because, well, because I thought uh, it was about time I started enjoying life again. Uh, I'd like you to retrieve the treasure I located all those years ago for me. Uh, I would do it myself, but these old bones are getting uh, far past uh, the age for reckless uh, gallivanting. Yeah, um, if you could gather uh, the treasure and put it on a display in this very room, I'd be uh, truly grateful. Well, you managed to see you um, definitely picked the right guy for the job. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, splendid. Uh, then let me get to the point. There are in total uh, four treasures I'd like for you to retrieve. Uh, the first is in uh, the uh, hammer shed, 
Hammer's head. I said shed because I, it's one word. Hammer's head and temperantia. Uh, if you use the best quality sandal lenders and certain weather conditions, uh, you'll find the treasure, I believe. Uh, the second is uh, the golden sunstorm lies in the land of Mortha. Uh, as I understand it, a salvager attempting to retrieve it from the cliffs of Mortha. Uh, wait, I don't. Did I read that right? As I understand it, a salvager attempted to retrieve it from the cliffs of Mortha, but fumbled and, and it sank deep. Uh, and then uh, there's the calamity puzzle. I hear not up on an argent and finally got his little wings on it. So I suppose that one is less about salvaging and more uh, bartering. And finally, uh, the orbital orbital uh, sky reader at the salvaging point and very crystal Elpis. Uh, I didn't even know there was a salvaging point in Elpis. I'm pretty sure I used it before. So Rex, what what you brain not work? Indeed, uh, it is not. Uh, easy to spot. It seems like avoided nothingness, doesn't it? But in uh, actual fact, it, it joins the cloud sea in a number of places. Uh, I'm certain that we'll find uh, what we're looking for uh, here, but the precise uh, spot escapes me. I suppose we ought to try looking in a few different locations. I'm sorry for asking so much of you, my boy. Oh my gosh, he truly is a king! He said, my boy, uh, back when I was a child, uh, there wasn't a salvager in all of us who couldn't dream of claiming those treasures for their own. Uh, whoever found all four would be renowned for generations to come as the salvager among salvagers. And they would have uh, bestowed upon them the title Salvager Supreme. Uh, once you find them, I'd like you to place them on the altars behind me. Well, Alters, you've already, uh, thought this far ahead. Uh, I was just say anticipation is a keen motivator. Well, my boy, best of luck. And, yeah, so, basically, uh... Wait. Crap. Why can't I throw the side quest for them? Uh... But this side quest that we just got is basically you just put stuff on these. Uh, you find stuff special salvaging thing they put over there uh yeah anyway uh maybe i have to do something else uh first uh hooray another side quest i don't know how to start uh let's switch back to nia because she has the blade uh holy crap that takes up a bunch of the screen uh do we have to uh do we actually have to do this thing over here? It's like, uh, right there? Yeah. Okay, so, normally, I thought that, like, uh, for, uh, side quest, blade quest, you didn't have to do the heart to heart first if you're a new game plus, but apparently you do for this one, I think. Uh, let's see if it works. So, you have awakened the sealed blade. Your Majesty. It's been quite some time since I last saw this place. We used to play here as children, you know. Tell me, do you know why it is that the Ospiti Temple was destroyed? Beats me. It's because a blade went berserk. They say that the blade was so powerful, its driver couldn't hope to control it. There was nothing anyone could do. The incident was resolved when the driver took their own life. With that, the blade was sealed within its core crystal. And as a warning to future generations, it was buried here in the temple where the tragedy took place. You mean, the blade that went berserk is... Your suspicions are correct. The blade was Herald. I have no memory of the event. But I believe it to be true. At times, I feel something. A kind of limitless power dwelling within me. Your Majesty, you may punish me however you see fit. Even if it means breaking my core crystal into a thousand pieces and burying me for all eternity. I 
I'll keep you in check. Mia. Haha, <laughs> just as I thought. Listen well, Herald. I believe your driver trusts you deeply. And I trust your driver just the same. Even if you had some recollection of the past, you need not dwell on it. Don't let yourself be chained to the past. Become your driver's strength. That's all I ask. But still, I have to atone somehow. I understand how you feel. But you must remember that there are many ways to atone for one's sins. Aiding your driver in the fierce battles to come is one such way. You think so? Yet we need you, Harold. No point crying over spilt milk. Come with us. Fight with us. All right. I'll try. Worry not. Whatever happens, just remember, you have an esteemed driver by your side. Your Majesty, thank you. Think nothing of it. I expect great things of you. Okay, so, uh, after the uh, information that we got revealed in that, a heart to heart there. Uh, what? Somewhere here? Crap, I don't remember. There's a hole in the wall somewhere, I think. Or something like that, I don't know. There's like an entryway into somewhere. Or something. Come on, I, I gotta find that so I don't look like I'm crazy. Come on, where is it? It's somewhere around here. Maybe it's up here. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's uh, the cracked wall. So, like, uh, if you go... Uh, break open that. Uh, you can go and get... Uh, friggin' uh, Harold's core crystal from here. Uh, you gotta go... And just put a bunch of this crap into there. And I'll give you the core crystal. Uh, that's what I, yeah. That's what I remember. So yeah, anyway, uh... That's, uh, that's the seal. It's just stuffing food into the altar. And then it eventually gives you the core crystal. Anyway, uh, now, after watching that heart dart, we should hopefully be able to freaking do this side quest for real this time. Yes! Yes, yes, let's do side quest! Come on, give me you, Legiminos! Come on, give me the side quest! Yes! Ah, oh, you returned, my wayward child. Uh, just passing by, I wasn't uh, particular keen on seeing your old mug again, Dad. You never change, do you, Zeke? Well, no matter, as it happens, I have a request to ask of you. Oh, yeah? Uh, there's a new type of monster we've never seen before. On the Gen in the Genbu Titan. Uh, it's been roaming around uh, Amphoret uh, Pillar for now, uh, but there's no telling when it may decide to attack Theosaur. Uh, why do you need us? Can't uh, you get the military to do something about it? I could, but the Aegis and Herald, but with the Aegis and Herald at your disposal, uh, having you handle it would keep casualties to a minimum. Is that an order, Your Majesty? No, not an order. It is a request. Uh, uh, that we may protect the lives of the people. What do you say, Harold? Will you lend us your power? As you know, your majesty, I once ran out of control and tried to destroy your kingdom. Uh, I am made to fight in close proximity. Uh, there's every possibility that that all... Oh, it's enough. I told you before, you're not the same as you once were. And above all, Neob believes in you. Don't forget that. Don't forget that! Uh, I understand that, but uh, if you understand that, then what need have you to be uh, despondent? Uh, look at it this way. If you truly feel uh, responsible for your actions, then think of this as a means of repentance. What greater service could be done than protecting the lives of the kingdom? Your Majesty. Herald, we beseech you, help us. 
Go with me and use your powers to save Tantil. Understood. I will assist you to the utmost of my ability. And now the episode starts for real! After like 15 minutes of me not knowing what I'm doing. Okay, skip travel time to make this really quick. Freaking. Probably lower level? Yeah. Alrighty, kiddos, let's go and murderize some. Oh my gosh, it's up high. It's on the upper level, isn't it? Wait, what is this then? That was a that was a side quest that we can accept. I missed uh, I mistook it for friggin' crap. I, I mistook it for friggin' uh the actual objective. The objective is what right here. I I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, yeah. There we go. So yeah. The thing is over there, yeah. So those... No, those aren't it. Where, where is it? No, those are the thing. I didn't see the sideways marker. Okay, we have a gun. So hopefully that will be able to target it from a range yet. Yeah, okay. Okay, so like Harold said that like something about close proximity combat or something. This is a gun. I don't know what that was about. So yeah. We're just, he's already dead. Okay. You were my great 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 grandfather's slave, right? What was he like? Unclear. But I ask that you not awaken my powers this time. Okay. Great 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 grandfather's blade uh, of Zeke. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. yeah, okay. We now have info on exactly who Harold was. I never heard that freaking uh uh, dialogue. I didn't know that that was the case. That we should depart imminently. Uh, her driver is related to Zeke. I didn't know that. Maybe it says in the side quest, but I wasn't paying attention if it did. Uh, yeah, I never heard that uh, post battle dialogue before, and now I have, and that's pretty interesting. We're back dead. Oh, you're right. Those uh, Harry Dot uh, liars were no pushover. I, I mean, yeah, I guess they took a beating. They did take quite a bit to kill, but they didn't do anything to us. Oh, you defeated them already? All that dodging around uh, the world may have actually made a man of you, Zeke. Thanks, but I don't need your empty compliments. Uh, yeah, still as cynical as ever, though. Uh, I see. It's been work to you too, Harold. Allow me to commend you for your efforts. No, I could never have done it with alone, not without Nia. Is that so? Then it appears I have made the right decision to entrust Harold to you. Uh, I understand uh, you will continue to keep her under your wing. Of course, Your Majesty, she's our friend. Uh, we promise we'll take good care of her. Good, good. Well now, the matter of ensuring Tantil's safety has been seen to. But as it happens, there's more to this than it first seemed. Come on, Dad, don't beat around the bush. No, about the bush. What the heck? Nobody says that. People say around, not about. Uh, spit it out. Uh, you got something else for us to do? You got something quickly, Pandoria. Uh, it's about the hairy lions. You defeated one pair of them, but it seems there are more this time in Uriah. Huh? In Uriah? Uh, Queen Rekuva <laughs> uh, has sent out a plea for help. Uh, given your experience, I would like to send you to a sister. Uh, the Orion army has already, already have had, they can't even read, already have their hands full with it as it is. Ah uh, yeah, Herodot lives aren't something your average driver can deal with. 
Uh, what do you say, Harold? Will you accompany them? Uh, what reason have I to refuse a personal request from His Majesty? Why are you tea posing? <laughs> uh, if it is the good of all rest, then perhaps it will serve to atone for my sins. No, no, do not burden yourself, so... I'm sure Queen Rukula will be delighted to hear this. Uh, I'd like you uh, to head now to uh, Fonts my report. Uh, you'll be given further instructions upon your arrival. Affirmative. Well then, Godspeed. And now we go to Uriah, yay! But we don't get to go to the one part that I like of Uriah, we just gotta go to the friggin' city with the friggin' Superman music. But that only happens during the day. During the night, it does not have Superman music. And it's night, so we don't get Superman music. Ha 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 ha. Hey. You're just like freaking out in the open like that. I don't think that's good for like a leader to just be like, mm, yes, I'm gonna be like right next to this like unprotected like freaking uh, dock here. It's gonna be able to be pushing the water and drown easy. Yeah, that's, that's not a good idea. Well then again, uh, the freaking what leader of Portugal just goes like mostly unsupervised to the beach one time or something like that. The freaking Australia prime minister just goes missing at the beach that one time. I mean, like, if not every country is the United States where they have like a billion security guards around them. So whatever. Anyway, but maybe they weren't unsupervised. But I don't know. They probably were unsupervised. So anyway, yeah, yeah. The, the United States cares too much for their like leaders, and then. But they, their uh, security services too. Uh, and then other countries is like, lol, what leader? And then they just disappear forever. Like in Australia that one time. Anyway, uh, another time in Australia, the leader just did friggin' prime minister or whatever. Just friggin' shit himself on a McDonald's. So that's also kind of funny. Uh, anyway, uh, why am I talking about... Rakuva actually is accompanied by two mercenaries. So why am I even talking about this? She has defense. Why would I even bring this up? She has people who can defend... Whatever, okay. But they don't have blades right now. They probably are drivers, but... What? Okay, I don't even know anymore. Friggin', uh, okay. Welcome, we've been expecting you. Whoa, I didn't expect to uh, be... You to be me as personally, your majesty. To our feeling, like, very important, not on. Uh, we are honored you would come to speak with us in person. Uh, raise your head, Flamebringer. It is I who should apologize for meeting you in such a place. But I'm afraid time is of the essence. We can't afford luxuries. Uh, could you inform us of the situation? I was just about to. At uh, present, we have confirmed two uh, Herod outliers. Uh, and Uriah, we've already had to make uh, three strategic retreats already. Three retreats? Sheesh. Uh, indeed, our army has a m mere handful of drivers. Uh, so we haven't been able to uh, put up much of a fight thus far. Uh, we recruited the, recruit the Merc group as well, but they have failed to subjugate it, being unf an unfamiliar species. Uh, we don't have... No, we don't, just don't have the means to deal with them uh, with their current capabilities. This is why we entreated uh, you to bring the Aegis and the other competent blade you may have to help us. Gotcha. Uh, time to bust us um, up some hair dot layers in. Layers? La. 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 I. Uh, yeah, Laya. I don't. That's, that's close enough. Uh, the hair dot layers are presently on uh, the far side of Gold Pass. It will be done! Harold, I think after this. Of course! Let's dispatch the enemy at the earliest opportunity. <coughs> <coughs> And now we skip travel. I don't know exactly where. I mean, I was told where. Uh, there, there it is. That's where. At least that's the closest point. Let's go. Okay, where is this? Oh, they're over there. I just want entire level than last ones. Oh, 
Well, that one's dead. And it's dead. That was easier than last time. That was far easier than last time. Okay. Back to the port. And then go talk to the person who has guards who don't even have blades on them right now. And we're you. We should depart imminently. We, we already departed. What are you talking about? Anyway, why do you take up so much of my screen? Uh, okay. Uh, we have conjure, con conjure, conquered your, the enemy you're about to see. Uh, you need, uh, fear no longer. Uh, truly I am grateful to you from the uh, bottom of my heart. And that's if we did conjure an enemy, he's like, mm, yes, more. That'd be so bro. Anyway, uh, where are all these monsters coming from, though? Uh, first chance I'll know here. It's certainly a cause for concern. Uh, the introduction of foreign species uh, to endemic regions could wildly disrupt their uh, ec ecosystems. Uh, we've already identified where the allies are coming from. Really? Yes, a er, messenger from Timber Ranch arrived while you were out fighting. Allies appear to have been spawning at an alarming rate at a place called... Um, X is pronounced as a Z. A Zaya Z Zataris, yeah, Zataris, uh, spring in Temperancha. Temperancha, eh? So they're born in Temperancha and then migrate to other Titans by air. So they could be causing trouble in other countries too. This is bad. Uh, indeed. It seems uh, to address the uh, heart of the matter. We'll have to rid Temperancha of its lies. We're gonna just make them go extinct. What about Temperancha's ecosystem? Oh, wait, it doesn't have one. Temperancha is already dead. Uh, going up against uh, those things isn't uh, half exhausting though. What? Going up against those things isn't half exhausting though. What? What does that mean? It's not half exhausting. It doesn't half exhaust. What? Okay. Uh, but we have to do this. No one else can. True enough. Uh, shall we then? I'm sorry. Here it looks like our job's still not over. That is fine by me. The future of all rest is in your hands. My thoughts go with you. Exclamation point. What? What is this strange feeling? Don't tell me what my power is. Hey, Harold, we're leaving. Ah, oh, yes, coming. And now we go to Temperancha. I don't know where in Temperancha. Probably not the peninsula. But, uh, hmm. So, can I zoom in, please? So, they had said a spring. This is toxic. Uh, there's a toxic spring here. And there's one here. So, if I were to guess, because I don't think we've been over in this exact spot yet. It'd probably be right there. Uh, because I don't know. Oh, I, I don't actually know where to go. It'll tell me as soon as I skip travel to a Temperancha, though. Let's rest the so let's see. So, was I right? I was close enough. It's like a bit above it. Okay. So, yeah, that was pretty good of me to be able to know where it was. Or about where it was, almost where it was, and then get to the closest control point. I'm so good at this game. So yeah, here's a few of them right here. How are there uh, so many? You have to be joking. It appears Queen Nakuva was right. There are an irregular number of them here. Even for the Great Zekinator, this is kind of a tall order. Uh, but we can't, uh, leave them like this. We can't let, uh, just let them run rampant all over the world. 
Uh, with you there, chum, it's time we uh, nipped uh, this one in the bud. <clears throat> Alright then, let's go. Harold, back me up. Harold? Yes, I'm ready. Let's begin. And now, time to kill him! And that one's dead. Okay, this man is gonna die in a few more hits. Rex, why are you dead? We're gonna kill the king! Wait, what's he say, Rex? How did you die? Oh my gosh, it's gonna invade everything. Are you kidding me? You know, it's dead pretty easy. But Rex managed to die somehow, and that's kind of disappointing. I'm disappointed in you, Rex. Yeah, things aren't looking so good here. Let's retreat for now and regroup. Affirmative. Huh? It doesn't look like they're going to let this one go. Oh, crud. We're completely surrounded. And they just keep on coming. Do not fear. I have sworn on my life to protect you. Harold! Hey, there's no way you can take on that many enemies on your own. What are you trying to pull? I had hoped I would never have to use this again, but... There's no other way. Goodbye. Control the power? Ah! Harold! Harold, are you alright? That was one heck of a light show you gave us there, madam. A few seconds more and we'd have been toast too. Can you walk? Uh, uh, uh. That's enough. Harold! Stay away! <sighs> At this rate, I'm afraid my power will... It's just going to destroy everything. I... I have to go. Somewhere. S somewhere no one will ever find me. Harold, wait! Where are you going? Stay where you are. Just leave me alone. Harold. I guess well, that's the berserk state you were warned about. Most likely. Yeah, that's probably exactly how it went down when she wrecked the temple in Theoswar. And after we swore that we'd never let it happen again. Yup. And that was nobody's fault but our own. We pushed the girl too far. <sighs> We're going to find her. Naturally. 
There's no way we're leaving her alone out there. She's out there on her own because she doesn't want to cause us trouble. We can't just abandon her like that. Too right. She's suffered long enough. She needs a right royal cheering up. Come on, let's go before she gets too far. Right, let's go. Having said that, Hero does have wings. First, we'll have to find out where she's headed. Oh, no, 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 more egg. Please tell me we don't have to do a merc mission. Please tell me we don't have to. No! No, 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 no. Crap. Uh. Well, uh, I'll be back. And, like, okay, 20 minutes. Uh,. However, it could be, uh, shorter than the... Okay, and we're back, and now we go straight forward. Yes, I was already in this area before the demerc mission was even completed, that's because I knew where to go. Harold! Comrades! Tadjin up here. Uh, you led us on a merry, uh, dance and no mistake. What? Apologies. Harold, when you split off from us... Uh, you did that to protect us, didn't you? Indeed. Uh, but it looks like, uh, you're alright now. You're not acting weird like before. Yes, you seem to be back to your old self. Okay, shall we move out together? Alas, I cannot. Uh, I want you to leave me to my fate. Are you uh, concerned that you'll all run rampant again? Correct. Hey, come on. What happened before was our fault. Yeah, we aren't. Uh, going to let you stew in your own Jesus Herald, but Harold, you're right. Stop, don't come near me. Uh. See, here's the thing we can't ignore a friend when we see them suffering, huh? Hey, that body. You can't keep your power in check, can you? Enough! Just... go! RUN! Harold, ah! get a hold of yourself! It looks like our only option is to restrain her by force. Yeah. To stop history from repeating itself. Wait, crap, I only have drill mark. Uh, that might be a problem. Well, maybe it won't be, because, uh, we're gonna have, like, infinite healing, basically. Oh, I messed that up because I was I I wasn't paying attention to the timing. Well, that was extremely easy. Holy crap! Why are you still talking? Harold, are you all right? Looks like we pulled the plug on rampage mode. Smash my core crystal. It's it's the only way. Huh? This is the only chance you'll get. The burden of my sin is already too much to bear. Shut the hell up. We'd never do something like that, ever. Then I will run rampant again. And next time, innocents will suffer. I don't want to hurt anyone anymore. 
If you really care about me, then please end it. Screw that! I can't possibly agree to those terms either. Why? Don't you remember what King Eulogimenos said? He entrusted you to us so that we would take care of you. Whether you go berserk or not, it doesn't change a thing. Listen to Rex. The days of worrying about yourself running out of control are over. We'll stop you as many times as it takes. So don't ever think that you're better off gone. You've already helped us so much. Now we get to help you in return. That's what friends are for, right? Friends. So, Harold, you get what we mean now? So, you're saying you'd let me stay with you? Need you even ask? Thank you. Uh, I thought my existence as a weapon uh, could cause nothing but pain to those around me. Uh, but after what you told me, Nia, I began to reconsider that. I realize now that I could use my power not to destroy but to protect. Uh, that I could use my powers for the good of the people. I wonder if it's strange of me to think so. Nothing strange about that. I'll help you every step of the way, Harold. As your driver. No, as a driver. No, as a friend. Thank you. Uh, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Nia. Uh... And there we go! Wait, what, what? Why does it not say side quest complete? Okay, there we go. As you can see, the side quest complete thing immediately. Not after being like, oh yes, Harold's back is like your blade again. Congratulations. Okay! So, we have done it. We have done the side quest. And now, uh,. This looks like it's gonna cliff of any. Uh, so yeah, next time is on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, we'll do another side quest. Uh, how many do we have left actually? Let me check real quick. Uh, we have. Uh... Now I could be wrong. I have my. I'm gonna pull up my notes real quick. Uh, I could be wrong about this, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Holy crap, what the frick. That's a lot. But we have a lot done, though. So next time, we'll do yet another side quest. And we'll do another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. We'll do so many of these things. So, uh, I kind of feel like, uh, recording, like, a crap ton of episodes this week. I'm not gonna upload them all. Ah, uh, I'm probably gonna, like, just make, like, a massive backlog. Like this week, just because I feel like it. And then, uh, I won't have to, like, really worry about recording the rest of these. And then I can go and get ready for planning on the, uh, next, uh, part of Xenoblade 2. The, uh, prequel, Torn of the Golden Country. We can get started on that. I can get started planning that pretty early on, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh. Next time, you'll see a video that I record tomorrow, which you'll, you'll see in maybe a week or something, maybe less than that. I don't know. I don't know when I'll upload it, but I'm going to be recording, like, maybe a whole, like, freaking five episodes at the maximum this week. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see you then. So, yeah, tomorrow for me, maybe, and uh, next week for you. Bye bye <laughs> that line. Again. And just, next just time, the innocents will suffer. <laughs> Screw that! <laughs> I can't possibly agree to this. Screw things. that! Need you even ask? That was so quiet, Morag. Holy crap! Thank you. I could barely hear it. 